Pre-season test isn't just about individual rider going as fast as possible or team working flat out to choose the best possible time. Isn't also about developing the Yamaha R1 into the most competitive Warsaw bike package. Thanks for everything. <laughs> I mean, for me, testing is it's really, uh, it's like, um, it's 50-50. It's half of it is me working on myself and my riding style and trying to figure out how I can go around the track as fast as possible. But then the other 50% of what I have to focus on is the changes that these guys are making to the bike and just trying to evaluate uh, if, if, if there's any change, if uh, what the feeling is, if it's better, if it's worse, but at the same time still trying to go as fast as possible. So it's a little bit difficult sometimes because uh, sometimes there's too, too much going on in my head, but it's always, um, it's always interesting to do, to do some testing laps, you know, and, uh, and just work on myself because like we don't have a whole lot of time during the weekend uh, for me to work on me. And a lot of it is just working on, uh, working on the bike. And so to have some, to have the possibility to work on myself is always, always positive. And it, it helps me a lot at the end of the year. Ultimately, just trying to go as fast as I can. <laughs> So we had a successful test in November in Jarez with all the four riders. We got from them a very important uh, feedback and a request. So we took those information to our headquarters at the Weimarie and then we started to let's say, implement uh, this uh, request inside of our development program. Currently we are in Barcelona. The development program should keep in mind uh, several points, several things. One is uh, resources in terms of manpower, in terms of budget. That one point is, let's say, the timing when we would like to introduce what. We need to keep in mind uh, a bit of the development of the bike because we keep in mind that uh, we are developing racing bikes starting from production-based machine. We need to keep in mind uh, where technical rules is going, so what kind of freedom we have, and as well where Pirelli, as uh, the tire supplier, is, uh, is going in terms of development. So, Weimarie's responsibility is to develop uh, a racing bike starting from R3, R6 and R1, in our case, a bike from R1, and then to deliver the development part to the racing team. So for the team, pre-season testing is important and it can be split into three areas. The first area, area is uh, new development parts and this is to confirm the parts uh, better as expected and how they impact 
on other areas of the machine performance. The second phase is uh, the major chassis components, for example the caster angle. This is to get the bike to work in a, a wide window at different circuits. And the, sec the third sorry, and final phase is the personalised adjustments for the rider and circuit. And this is when you're looking for the last tenths to be competitive on a race weekend. possiamo forse accorciare un po' il rapporto per, cioè qui la terza figa non viene uh, sì, sì. sembra una moto uh, questo possiamo fare certo anche qui un po' di un po' di power un po' di brio un po' di jump un po' di jump benissimo split 1 ma con poco velocità questo è strano testing from a mechanics point of view the difference between a race weekend and testing is the sheer amount of work and it's basically it's just change after change after change and we run two bikes at a test to make everything much easier and we can put back to back settings but we'll be doing, it's not just one change, we go out for a little while. When the bike's out, we're changing the other bike. And the other bike comes in, we reverse the situation. And that's from when we start on track to when we leave. It's very, very full on. It's for three mechanics, we never stop. There's new parts arriving, there's new changes to be done completely through the day. And, um, but that's what we need to do. Love it. E questo siamo a posto. Guarda 2021 brought uh, this uh, new challenge having a Japanese rider which actually brought um, a new challenge for the, the team. And uh, the funny part was is working with uh, you know this Japanese guy, which doesn't really he came over and wasn't really speaking English. But of course, because of the internationality of the language for the bikes, 50% we we understand each other. For the other 50%, he got um, Yuki-san, which is really helping out in in, in uh, translating what what are the details. But actually this detail, you know, sometimes delay the, the, the work throughout the day. And this, uh, you know, is sometimes affecting, but is also still.
My role here is to help their communications between a quota and team. Sometimes quota um, can explain him very well, but he needs still, a, uh, with my help, to explain him more precisely. And also when he's feedback, then um, sometimes I have to also um, translate into the English to make the team understand him. So this is my motion. I know I'm going to have a new one. 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 I'm going to え、助かってますけど、やっぱりま、自分もなるべくなら自分も言えるように、ま、少しずつ勉強して、今、え、少しずつ言えるようになってきてるところであります。So I've been working always with Japanese staff, Japanese mechanics. So I didn't have such a difficulties. But of course, uh, if I like to transmit what I I mean to convey what I'm thinking in a English or different languages, sometimes um, the meaning or maybe my intention is could be a little bit different. I'm still learning how to tell them what I'm feeling exactly, but some, still I need a little bit of help. But I'm always, every day, I'm learning how to express myself to the team.